first thing to do is you will have to download the MetaTrader app onto your phone. To download the MetaTrader app application, go to your Play Store on Android and for iPhone users, you will go to the App Store. Once opened, search for the application called MetaTrader 5. The application should look like the one you can see on the screen right now. Then download and install this application. And once it has completed, you should be able to launch the application. When you open the application for opening the MT5 app for the first time, it will ask you to agree to the terms and conditions. You, of course, will have to accept and agree to them for you to be able to use the app. Then again, it will ask you to agree to the terms of opening a new demo account with MetaCodes. MetaCodes is the company that makes the MetaTrader app platforms. If you are happy with the terms, just press accept and a new demo account will be opened for you. If you haven't picked a broker yet or don't have an account set up with anyone else, I'd advise you to just keep using this new demo account for now until you feel ready to move on to a real broker account. If you do in fact already have an account and you want to log into, then you can do this by clicking the menu button in the top left right corner of the screen. It will look like three small horizontal lines. This will open the sidebar menu, then click manage accounts at the top of this sidebar. Here you will see the existing demo account that the application has just opened for you. To log into another account, press the press icon across the top of the screen. This will bring up a window with a search field. Just type the name of the broker in this box to find your broker and then select them. Then you will now be taken to a screen to enter your login, password and server. You will find all this information from your broker's website. I personally use theleap.com as my broker and you can see here I'm provided with the entry credentials to use on my MetaTrader app. Enter your account number in the top box and your password in the box below. Then you have to make sure you select the correct server, then press login at the bottom of the screen. You should then be redirected to the account screen and see that you're now logged in into the account you have just added. You can see on the screen that I'm now logged in into my Derive.com demo account and the new MT5 demo account setup for me is now inactive below this. If in any case I ever wanted to log back into this account, I can just click the account, then press sign in as the login details will be remembered for me. If you want to remove an account, just press and hold on to the account box, then hit delete on the menu that appears. On this bottom bar right here, the first button is the market watch list. This screen is essentially a watch list of different markets. The price on the left is the sell price and the price on the right is the buy price. The low and high price below the sell and buy prices are the lowest price of the day and highest price of the day so far. You can add, rearrange and remove markets from this list by using two buttons in the top right hand corner. To add more markets to this list, click the price icon and this will open a new screen with a search bar at the top and folders below. Any available markets will be sorted out in the corresponding folders. If you are searching for volatility indices, for example, you could either search in this search box at the top or look in the relevant folder and select it from there. Please note, if the market you are looking for is already in your quotes list, it will not appear in this search and the markets available in this search will vary depending on what markets your broker offers. To rearrange the list of the markets in the quotes tab, just press the pencil icon in the top right hand corner you should now see this drag icon appearing next to each ticker symbol. Just press and drag each market to your desired location to rearrange this list. Once you're done, just press the back arrow of your phone. To delete a market from this list, again press the pencil icon in the top right corner of this screen, then press the bin icon in the top right corner. You should see checkboxes appear to all the markets in this list. Just simply check all the markets you want to remove, then press the bin icon and it will delete the selected markets. You may notice that you are unable to delete one or more markets from the quotes list. This is because either the market is currently open in the chart screen or because you have a live trade or a pending order on that market. You can change the settings for the quotes tab by opening up the sidebar menu, then clicking the settings button under the quotes heading you can deselect the advanced mode and this will give you a simplified vision of the quotes tab with only sell price and buy price displayed for each market. You can also enable order sounds and one click trading from this menu. On the bottom of the screen, the second tab you see is the chart tab. This shows you the chart for the last selected market. To open the chart for the different markets, you can either click on this tab or use the quotes tab. On the quotes tab, 
just click the market trigger symbol and then press the chart option it will take you back to the chart tab and it will now show you the market you have just selected on the charts tab you can also press the market ticker symbol and this will show you a simple list of all markets on your quotes tab hence you can use this menu to quickly change in between different markets of your choice next to the market symbol is the time frame notation as you can see on the screen this is currently showing me m5 which means we are looking at a five minute chart to change the time frame of the chart tap anywhere on the chart screen and a circular menu will appear here you can change the time frame by selecting any of the time intervals between one minute and one month or you could use this new updated feature and quickly change to any time frame of your choice one thing you should now know is that the chart type will be set to candlestick by default when you open it for the first time your metatrader app if you are unfamiliar with how these charts work please subscribe to this channel to learn more about them in the moment, if you want to change the chart type, click on the chart screen to bring up the circular menu and then press the settings icon. You can change the chart type using the first option in the settings list. You can choose between a bar chart, candlestick chart or a line chart. Just select the type you want and then press back and the chart screen will be updated for you. There are a variety of chart settings you can change on the chart settings screen. Below chart type, you can enable the open high, low, and close prices to show under the ticker symbol you can also decide if you want orders to be visible on your chart screen or not by disabling these options right here another cool feature here is that you can also customize all the colors of all different elements of the chart screen because everyone has their own favorite colors right to do this just press on the element you want to change and then select the color you want it to be once you are happy just press the done button and you will be done to add a new indicator to the chart, press the symbol besides the price sign. Then select the indicator you want to add by clicking the F plus sign if you want your indicators to appear on the main chart. Using the moving average as an example, by clicking on it, it will appear on the settings window for that indicator. Modify them to your own test, then click done and the indicator will be added to the chart window. More interesting is that you can also add more than one indicator to a separate indicator window if needed. To do this, press the F plus symbol next to the indicator window you want to add an extra indicator to, then select the indicator you want to add for that to appear on the chart screen. To delete an indicator from the chart window, place the sign beside the plus symbol at the top, then you can press the bin icon in the top right corner of the screen, then check the checkboxes of the indicators you want to delete. Once you are done, press the bin icon again and the selected indicators will be removed. You can use the crosshair tool to inspect the chart with more precision. The crosshair tool also allows you to measure price moves. To do so, select the crosshair cursor, press it where you want to start measuring from and hold it in place with one finger on the screen. Then with another finger, drag and select where you want to measure the tool and let go with the second finger. You will see a small white box appear with two numbers inside. The first number is the number of candles measured over. The second number is the number of pips or points measured in the same format as the market price. You can open the quick multi menu by clicking anywhere on the chart. This opens up a circular menu that has some quick options that I have already covered in this video. Pressing the drawing tools icon will bring up favorites menu of different drawing tools. This menu shows the last six used drawing tools at any time, so you can quickly select one if desired. To see all the available tools, press the price icon in the top right corner. Here you will find a list of all drawing tools available within the application. To add any of this to your chart window, press the tool you want to add and it will take you back to the chart window. I will add a simple rectangular box as an example. You can also delete a tool by pressing the pin icon in the top right corner and then checking the tools you want to delete. Once happy, just press the pin icon again and the selected tools will be deleted from your chart. You can enter a trade directly from the chart window by clicking this rectangular symbol in the top right corner of the screen. This will open the simple vision of the market order screen, which you can use to quickly take a trade of the given market at the moment. In the middle box, it is where you will choose the lot size you want to use for the trade you are about to take. If you are uncomfortable with this method, you could use the alternative method by clicking on the trade tab at the bottom of the screen. Then you will click the new order button at the top right corner of the screen. To change to the market you want to trade, you can use this by pressing the dollar sign in the top right corner to do so. 
By default, the trade will be set to instant market execution. In clicking this option, you can choose in between instant market execution, buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop, buy stop limit, and sell stop limit. But all of these are just way too many tiresome steps. Later in this video, I will show you the easiest way to press these buy or sell limit orders faster without going all these tiresome steps. But before I do that, please subscribe to this channel as in this channel, we aim to educate all new traders when it comes to trading. Below this, you can set your position size. This is quoted in lots and can be amended by either using the buttons either side of the central number or by clicking the number on the center and entering the number of lots you want to trade. Below this, you will see two prices of the market you are looking at. The sell price is on the left and the buy price is on the right. If you choose anything except market execution, you will see a box below to enter the market price you want the order to be set at. So for example, if you wanted to set a sell limit order, you will need to enter the price you want this order to be triggered. Once the price moves up to that level, the order will be triggered. Below this, you will see a red and green box to enter your stop loss and take profit levels. Enter the stop loss level you want in the red box and take profit you want in the green box. Once you are happy with the details of the market order, either press the sell or buy limit to submit your sell or buy orders. If this is an instant market execution, the trade will be opened instantly and you will see it listed under the positions heading on the trade chart. On the quickest way to press your buy limit or sell limit orders, you can just click on this new tool right here and tap anywhere you want to press your orders. If it is above the price, it will automatically be to sell limit. If you go below the current market price, it will change straight and automatically to buy limit. Right here, you can press either your stop loss or take profit, whatever you want. Once pressed, these horizontal lines will appear and you can modify them by pressing anywhere on the screen. Once done, you will click on this new arrow and you will see all the details automatically filled for you. And that all you have to do is to press the word place and the order will be automatically pressed for you. Guys and girls, with this new tool, you don't have to memorize the numbers no more. If you have any open trades, you will see a live profit or ratio amount of all your trades combined at the top of the screen. This will be fluctuating of course as the market price changes for any of the open trades. Balance is simply the amount you have in your account and not including any open positions, so any unrealized profits or losses will not be taken into account in the balance figure. Equity is the same number as the balance figure, but this time it includes any profit or losses from the open positions. If you have any open trades, this number will fluctuate as those trades fluctuate too. Margin is the amount in your account that it's attributed to open positions. Free margin is the amount in your trading account that isn't attributed to any open positions. Margin level percentage is the total amount in your account divided by the margin amount needed to open the position. Under the positions heading, you will see a list of all live trades. You can click on any of the trades or orders listed in this screen to see more details about them. Clicking on one of them will reveal the stop loss level, take profit level, swap amount and the trade ID. You can hide these details again by clicking on the order. You can modify your live or pending trades by sliding the trade or order entries to the left to reveal some quick buttons. The paper with a ticker symbol opens the screen to close the trade. The pencil button opens the screen to edit the levels. The press icon lets you open a new trade or order on the same market and the chart button opens the chart window for that market. So that's it for today guys and girls. If you have found this tutorial useful, please leave a like on the video and hit the subscribe button. Thanks again traders and have fun on the MetaFed app.